Uh, you look at him like he's innocent. Stop. You never American take pictures of me. Name, uh, a European oh, name so or the name that has a Caucasian or a white man. Now that you do take a picture, it's me going to the back. And a yellow man. The Chinese is a yellow man. And uh, he has nothing to do or no connection with the American. And it's a for a person who is yellow or Chinese to be walking around. Oh, that's, around that's the good. Yes. Oh, don't oh, knock it over. Oh, nice shot, Tim. Oh, there he goes again. What are you doing? I'm going to walk around with these names, and therefore he teaches us that during slavery, the same slave master who owned us uh, put his last name on us to denote that we were his property. So when you see a Negro today who's named Johnson, if you go back in his history, you'll find that he was once his grandfather or one of his forefathers was owned by a white man who was named Johnson. His name is Bunch. His, his grandfather was owned by a I white man point, who was man. named Bunch. Would you mind telling me what your father's last name was? My father didn't know his last name. My father got his last name from his grandfather, and his grandfather got it from his grandfather, who got it from so his grandfather. The real names of our people were destroyed. Well, was, there any, was there any line, uh, any point in, in the uh, genealogy of your family when you did have to use the last name? And if so, what was it? The last name of my forefathers yeah. was taken from them when they were brought to America and made slaves. And then mm -hmm. the name of the slave master was given, which we refused. We reject that name today. You mean you, mean you won't even tell me what your father's supposed last name was or gifted last name?